The Upasatha Sanskrit, Upavasatha, is a Buddhist day of observance, in existence from the Buddhist time 600 BCE, and still being kept today in Buddhist countries. The Buddha taught that the Upasatha day is for the cleansing of the defiled mind, resulting in inner calm and joy. On this day, both lay and ordained members of the Sangha intensify their practice, deepen their knowledge and express communal commitment through millennia-old acts of lay monastic reciprocity. On these days, the lay followers make a conscious effort to keep the five precepts or, as the tradition suggests, the eight precepts. It is a day for practicing the Buddha's teachings and meditation. Topic. Observance days Depending on the culture and time period, Upasatha days have been observed from two to six days each lunar month. Topic. Theravada countries In general, Upasatha is observed about once a week in Theravada countries in accordance with the four lunar phases, the new moon, the full moon, and the two quarter moons in between. In some communities, such as in Sri Lanka, only the new moon and full moon are observed as Upasatha days. In Burmese Buddhism, Upasatha called Nei is observed by more pious Buddhists on the following days: waxing moon, Lhsan, full moon, La Pyeinei, waning moon, Lhsote, and new moon, La Kwenei. The most common days of observance are the full moon and the new moon. In pre-colonial Burma, Upasatha was a legal holiday that was observed primarily in urban areas, where secular activities like business transactions came to a halt. However, since colonial rule, Sunday has replaced Upasatha as the legal day of rest. All major Burmese Buddhist holidays occur on Uposathas, namely Thingyan, the beginning of Vasa beginning in the full moon of Waso, around July, to the full moon of Thadingyat, around October. During this period, Upasatha is more commonly observed by Buddhists than during the rest of the year. During Upasatha days, Buddhist monks at each monastery assemble and recite the Patimaka, a concise compilation of the Vinaya. Mahayana countries <inaudible> 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 In Mahayana countries that use the Chinese calendar, the Upasatha days are observed ten times a month, on the 1st, 8th, 14th, 15th, 18th, 23rd, 24th and final three days of each lunar month. Alternatively, one can only observe Upasatha days six times a month, on the 8th, 14th, 15th, 23rd and final two days of each lunar month. In Japan, these six days are known as the Roku Senichi, Lu Jai Ri six days of fasting. Topic. Names of full moon Upasatha days The Pali names of the Upasatha days are based on the Sanskrit names of the Naksatra Pali, Nakada, the constellations or lunar mansions through which the moon passes within a lunar month. Topic. History The word, Upasatha, is derived from the Sanskrit word, Upavasatha which refers to the pre-Buddhistic fast day that preceded sacrifices in the historical Vedic religion. In the Buddha's time, some ascetics used the new and full moon as opportunities to present their teachings. The Upasatha day was instituted by the Buddha at the request of King Bimbisara, and the Buddha instructed the monks to give teachings to the laypeople on this day, and told the monks to recite the Patimaka every second Upasatha day. Topic. Practice. Topic. Lay practice On each Upasatha day, devout Upasaka and Upasika practice the eight precepts, perhaps echoing the Buddha's teaching that laypeople should imitate arhats on Upasatha days. The eight precepts are modeled after the ten precepts observed by novice monks, except that the seventh and eighth precepts for the novices are combined. The ninth novice precept becomes the eighth, and the tenth novice precept non-acceptance of gold and silver, use of money, is excluded as being impracticable for a lay person. For lay practitioners who live near a vihara, upasatha is an opportunity for them to visit it, make offerings, listen to dhamma talks by monks and participate in meditation sessions. 
For lay practitioners unable to participate in the events of a local monastery, the Upasatha is a time to intensify one's own meditation and Dhamma practice, for instance, meditating an extra session or for a longer time, reading or chanting special Buddhist texts, recollecting or giving in some special way. Monastic practice On the new moon and full moon upasatha, in monasteries where there are four or more bhikkhus, the local sangha will recite the patimaka. Before the recitation starts, the monks will confess any violations of the disciplinary rules to another monk or to the sangha. Depending on the speed of the patimaka chanter one of the, monks, the recitation may take from 30 minutes to over an hour. Depending on the monastery, lay people may or may not be allowed to attend. Topic. Communal reciprocity Describing his experience of Upasatha Day in Thailand, Kantapalo writes, Early in the morning lay people give alms food to the bhikkhus who may be walking on alms round, invited to a layman's house, or the lay people may take the food to the monastery. Usually lay people do not eat before serving their food to the bhikkhus and they may eat only once that day. Before the meal the laity request the eight precepts from the bhikkhus which they promise to undertake for a day and night. It is usual for lay people to go to the local monastery and to spend all day and night there. In monasteries where there is more study, lay people will hear as many as three or four discourses on Dhamma delivered by senior bhikkhus and they will have books to read and perhaps classes on Abhidhamma to attend. In a meditation monastery, most of their time will be spent mindfully employed, walking and seated meditation with some time given to helping the bhikkhus with their daily duties. So the whole of this day and night an enthusiastic lay people restrict their sleep is given over to Dhamma. Topic. Special Upasatha Days In Thailand five full moon Upasatha Days are of special significance and are called Puja Visaka Puja or Visaka Upasatha or Vesak Buddha Day is the most sacred Buddhist holiday. It is the anniversary of the Buddha's birth, awakening and Parinibbana. Asala Puja or Asala Upasatha Dhamma Day Anniversary of the Buddha's delivering his first discourse, which is collected as the Dhammakakapavatana Sutta. The three-month-long Vasa retreat starts the following day, Pavarana, the end of the rains retreat residence during which time each monk atones before the Sangha for any offense they may have committed, Anapanasati Day, anniversary of the Buddha's delivering the Anapanasati Sutta. This event is not connected to an Upasatha poya day in Sri Lanka and perhaps is particular to Thailand. Maga Puja or Maga Upasatha, Sangha Day, anniversary of the assembling of 1250 monks in the Buddha's presence during which time he delivered the Avada Patimaka Gatha. In Sri Lanka, three full moon Upasatha or Poya days are of special significance. Vesak Poya, which is described above. Posan Poya corresponds to the Jetha Upasatha, which falls in June. It is of special significance in Sri Lanka because the monk Mahinda, Asoka's son, officially introduced Buddhism to Sri Lanka on this day in the 3rd century BC. Asala Poya corresponds to Asala Upasatha, the full moon of July, and is described above. This day has special significance in Sri Lanka because it was the day that 56 nobles, headed by Prince Aritha, became the first Sri Lankans to be fully ordained as a bhikkhus at Satyagiri in Mahintali by Mahinda and his companions. It therefore marks the founding of the Lankan Bhikkhu Sangha. In Tibet and Bhutan, there are four full moon Upasatha days that are of importance Chatral Duchen Saga Dawa Duchen Choker Duchen Labab Duchen. In China, Japan, Korea, and Vietnam, there are certain full moon Upasatha days of importance. First full moon festival, which is celebrated in Buddhist temples and also acknowledges the end of the Lunar New Year. Buddha's birthday, Vesak topic See also Buddhist calendar Buddhist devotion Dhammaka Sutta List of Buddhist festivals Householder Buddhism Poya Sri Lankan Full Moon Holiday Thai Lunar Calendar Vasa topic Notes topic Bibliography Buddhadatta Mahathera, AP 2002. Concise Pali English Dictionary. Delhi, Mudalal Banarsidas. ISBN 81-208-0605-0. Bullet, John T. 2005. Upasatha Observance Days. 
Available online at http colon slash 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 ptf slash dhamma slash sila slash upasatha dot html. Dhammayat Order in the United States of America, 1994. A Chanting Guide. Available online at http colon slash slash www.accesstoinsight.org slash lib slash authors slash dhammayat slash chanting dot html. Dutt, Sukumar 1988. Buddhist Monks and Monasteries of India, Their History and Their Contribution to Indian Culture. Mudalal Banarsidas Publish. ISBN 978-81-208-0498-2. Harvey, Peter 1990. An Introduction to Buddhism, Teachings, History and Practices. Cambridge, Cambridge University. ISBN 0-521-31333-3. Karyawasam, A.G.S. 1995. Buddhist Ceremonies and Rituals of Sri Lanka The Wheel Publication No. 402-404. Kandy, Sri Lanka, Buddhist Publication Society. Retrieved of October 2007 from Access to Insight 1996 transcription at http colon slash slash www.accesstoinsight.org slash lib slash authors slash karyawasam slash wheel 402.html. Kantapalo, Bhikkhu 1982a. Lay Buddhist Practice, The Shrine Room, Upasatha Day, Reigns Residence The Wheel No. 206-207. Kandy, Sri Lanka, Buddhist Publication Society. Also transcribed 1995 and available online at http colon slash slash www.accesstoinsight.org slash lib slash authors slash cantapalo slash wheel 206.html. Cantapalo, Bhikkhu, trans. 1982b. Visakapasatha Sutta, The Discourse to Visaka on the Upasatha with the Eight Practices and 8.43. Available online at http colon slash slash www.accesstoinsight.org slash tipataka slash and slash and 08 slash and 08 dot 043 dot con dot html. Mahasi Sayada undated. Practical Vipassana Exercises. Buddha Dharma Education Association. Available online at http colon slash slash www.buddhanet.net slash pdf underscore file slash mahasit one dot pdf. Nyanavera Thera and Bhikkhu Kantisilo, trans. 1993. Upasatha Sila, The Eight Precept Observance. Thailand, The Office of the Secretary of the Supreme Patriarch. Available online at http colon slash slash www.accesstoinsight.org slash lib slash authors slash nanavera slash upasatha dot html. Narada Thera, trans. 1985. Maha Mangala Sutta, Blessings SN 2.4. Available online at http colon slash slash www.accesstoinsight.org slash tipataka slash kn slash snp slash snp.2.04. nara.html. Nyanaponika Thera and Bhikkhu Bodhi, trans, and ed. 1999. Numerical Discourses of the Buddha, an Anthology of Suttas from the Anguttara Nikaya, Walnut Creek, CA, Altamira Press. ISBN 0-7425-0405-0. Piyadasi Thera, trans. 1999a. Karaniya Metta Sutta, The Discourse on Loving Kindness, SN 1.8. Available online at http colon slash slash www.accesstoinsight.org slash tipataka slash kn slash snp slash snp.1.08. pia.html. Piyadasi Thera, trans. 1999b. Ratana Sutta, The Jewel Discourse, SN 2.1. Available online at http colon slash slash www.accesstoinsight.org slash tipataka slash kn slash snp slash snp.2.01. pia.html. Rhys Davids, T. W. and Herman Oldenburg, trans. 1881. Vinaya Texts, Part 1. Oxford, Clarendon Press. Available online at http colon slash slash www.sacred-texts.com slash bud slash sabi 13 slash sabi 1313.htm. 
The chapter on the Upasatha, Second Khandaka the Upasatha Ceremony, and the Patimaka, is available at http colon slash slash sacred textscom slash bud slash sabi 13 slash sabi 1313.htm the chapter on Pavarana Day, Fourth Khandaka, the Paravana Ceremony, is available at http colon slash slash www.sacred-texts.com slash bud slash sabi 13 slash sabi 1315.htm. Reese Davids, T. W., and William Stade, The Pali Text Society's Pali English Dictionary, 1921 25. Pali Text Society, London, Chipstead. The entry on Upasatha is available online at http colon slash slash dsal .edu path colon slash cgi dash bin slash philologic slash getobject.pl question mark c dot o colon one colon four oh one one dot poly. A general online search engine for the PED is available at http colon slash slash dsal .edu slash dictionaries slash poly slash Thanissaro Bhikkhu, Trans, 1993. Dhammakakapavatana Sutta, Setting the Wheel of Dhamma in Motion SN 56.11. Available online at http colon slash slash www.accessdoinsight.org slash tipataka slash sn slash sn 56 slash sn 56.011.then.html. Thanissaro Bhikkhu, Trans, 1997a. Buddhavaga, Awakened DHP 14. Available online at http colon slash slash www.accesstoinsight.org slash tipataka slash k n slash dhp slash dhp dot fourteen dot then dot html. Thanissaro Bhikkhu, Trans, 1997b. Mulupasatha Sutta, The Roots of the Upasatha and 3.70. Available online at http colon slash slash www.accesstoinsight.org slash tipataka slash and slash and o three slash and o three dot o seven o dot then dot html. Thanissaro, Bhikkhu, Trans, 1999. The Ten Recollections, a study guide. Available online at http colon slash slash www.accesstoinsight.org slash lib slash study slash recollections dot html. Thanissaro, Bhikkhu, Trans, 2006. Anapanasati Sutta, Mindfulness of Breathing, MN 118. Available online at http colon slash slash www.accesstoinsight.org slash tipataka slash m and slash m and dot one one eight dot then dot html. Topic external links Buddhist ceremonies, festivals and special days, on www.buddhanet.net Upasatha observance days on www.accesstoinsight.org, 2016 calendar of Upasatha days The rituals and festivals of the Buddhist life, by Robert C. Lester 1987, on BuddhistGateway.com Khmer Chonkatek calendar, by Robert C. Lester 1987, Cam C. C. Org.